Hi, it's Tony here again. Well, I finally got around to doing something that uh, I've been meaning to do for a while, and that's to uh, see uh, what was possible with um, the iPad. Um, something um, that I tried a long time ago was uh, the Duet app, which is an, uh, an app for extending your desktop, and I've been playing around with a, a similar thing, albeit a free one this time, just to... Um, just to um, sort of see how usable it would be uh, with Air Manager to run panels, etc. Now I know um, there is an iPad app um, and there is an equivalent app for Android too for tablets, um, but both of these apps um, are limited in some ways, particularly the iOS one, in, um, in so much as you can't run your own instruments. You have to, you can only run instruments that have already been uploaded to the um, the store and it's not just a case of them being in the store you have to wait then until the app is updated because Apple have a restriction on downloading uh, executable um, applications or code uh, onto the iPad uh, unless they're part of the actual app itself so basically all the instruments have to be embedded inside the app and the app uh, then updated from time to time so it takes quite a while if you do even submit an instrument to the store but this method um, enables you to run um, your own panels not even submitted to the store uh, on an iPad and the beauty of that is that um, you can even run pop outs which you can't obviously do with the uh, the uh, Android and the iPad apps for Air Manager so with this you can um, pop out your X-Plane uh, GPS and uh, place it on your iPad and put your uh, Air Manager um, overlay over the top and um, build it into a panel similar to what I've got here so what you sort of see in the middle here is actually um, the image from my iPad um, it is um, not just a picture it is a um, live image you can see there I've also got Knobster enabled that's the other big benefit of it you can actually touch on these knobs and you can see you get the little yellow uh, um, Knobster uh, thing and I can click there um, or the uh, both the radios are changing together. I think I've got that second one set as com one, not com two. But anyway, um, you can see the knobsters working uh, quite well there. I've even got my knobster deselector in the bottom right hand corner there, so I can turn the yellow shading off. So it works just the same as any other panel as if you were putting it onto a monitor. Uh, and the beauty of it is that you can use your finger which is what I'm doing here to select these uh, knobs to enable the knobs to highlight in all the buttons as well um, or you can as you can see here with the um, cursor I can use the uh, I can use the mouse at the same time without having to change any configuration and then that's because um, I believe the way that this is working is that it's just doing mouse emulation in terms of the touch so it actually in Air Manager you set the mode to be uh, by mouse not by touch um, but because the iPad is a touch device anyway and it's emulating that mouse movement you get the benefit of being able to use either um, with the extension for that um, iPad so what is it well it's um, very similar to an app I used a while back called Duet um, for iOS um, that is a pay app um, I think it's around $15 is it something like that uh, I might be wrong um, but this one is free um, now I think it's an early version I uh, it's uh, uh, beta software so um, you know I, I don't know if it's going to be pay uh, paid eventually but um, getting now I suppose um, I thought I'd give it a try and um, I was pleasantly surprised so what you essentially get let's just pull the desktop up here and just hide that iPad there for a, a minute what you essentially get is um, you install this. Um, here we go. Just drag that down from the other monitor. You you install this. Um, so the app is called Space Desk. When you go to the App Store, and then you have to go to uh, www.spacedesk.net to download this driver. This, as you see, it says uh, it's beta version there, um, and you can see it's connected on my local network. That's just a local uh, network address there. Um, very simple that's all it is it's just a it just opens uh, and runs in the background automatically waiting to, uh, to and on the iPad itself you just um, 
you just collect whatever uh, machines happen to have the driver on there. I've only got the one, so you just click on that, and then immediately it just configures itself as a as a as another display. So what I'll do is I'll just show you that very quickly. Um, display settings. So you can see here I've got the um, originally when I first did this, this the fifth display appeared up here uh, to the right, and I've just reconfigured it by dragging it down here and uh, saving that setting. Um, and so yeah. Um, you can see it's 1024 by 768 so quite small because it's obviously the iPad but it, it, you can see it, it um, you can get a, a nice little uh, radio stack or some other instruments a six pack would probably fit reasonably well on there similar in uh, obviously to what you could get on on the Android or iPad um, apps in terms of the instrument screen real estate because obviously they're fitting on the same the same device so whatever you can normally fit on a on a what is it 9.6 10 inch display typically the tablets for android or ios um the one thing i didn't look at um um was whether or not they did something similar for android but i'm guessing they must do uh, in terms of a screen um uh, uh, or an app to, to enable your your uh, your tablet to be used as a as a, an additional screen uh, for Windows. Now there is, this is only for Windows, this particular one. Um, I'm not sure if they do ones for Mac. I think they do. I think the Duet will work with Mac from memory, but I'm not 100% certain about that. Um, so yeah, that is basically my fifth monitor. So once that's enabled in, within Windows there, I can just drag anything I like onto the tablet as if it was a, another monitor in my setup, including the pop-out, so as you saw at the beginning. And I can obviously play with... Um, With the um, with the different functions of the um, audio panels, not on. There we go. Yeah, so that's that's it essentially. Um, that is the uh, that is the app. It's um, really really useful. Um, it's free as I said so it's worth giving it a try see it, see uh, if you get on with it but it solves the problem if you want to uh, if you want to operate those pop outs particularly or instruments of your own that, um, that you haven't got in the air manager iPad app itself um, of course you do need the desktop version of air manager if you don't own that because obviously it's uh, all um, air player I should imagine it would work with air player too because air player essentially is just um, driving uh, displays on the air player interface so you could i guess you could configure this um it'd have to be a windows air player machine um you could configure this this driver uh, onto that windows air player machine and then uh have this um ipad as one of the displays on that machine and um set your panels up within uh, within air manager so yeah of course you need air manager to run air players but yeah similar similar type of operation so that's it pretty much um, one thing I will just show you quickly before we end um, and that is um, the configuration within air manager is really really simple um, let's just pull it up here yeah so what we've got here in air manager there you see there's my my very basic uh, panel I've just called it smart desk dot test um, in the uh, in the beta version we are here um, a subset of small panels there um, ignore that wrong image there for a minute that's just something I'm working on so you can see I've got it set there to mouse there's my display 5 1024768 um, and you see there's the other obviously the, the four displays that you saw in that uh, thing that I've currently got on uh, connected to this machine um, so it works exactly the same there's the knobster set up as knobster uh, and, I'll, and obviously this has just got a custom image there for the cut. You can see there where there's, there is the cutout um, for the um, GPS pop-out to, to show through. Other than that, it's exactly the same. All of this uh, custom image and the knobster and everything. The only slight difference is this input mode. Uh, for me anyway, I would normally set that to touch when I'm using one of the touch screens uh, to enable the knobster operation and all the rest of the other buttons, etc. would be touch. Um, but for the iPad, you always set it to mouse and you get the benefit of the fact it's a touch and, and mouse as well at the same time, as I showed uh, at the beginning of the video. So there you go.
Knobster on iPad. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it proved useful. Um, see you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye.